Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my farm. Today, we're out in Farming Simulator 22 once again, and we are going to try something else today. I actually bought a power washer. Let's try this first, because this is a dirty guy over here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of my hub for the time being. We have lots of storage here. And also, you guys let me know something in the last episode. If you did miss the last episode, we made this massive cotton field and harvested cotton. But, yeah, if I go to my production chains here, I thought I needed both wool and cotton. I was totally wrong. I apologize. We can either make wool or make cotton fabric. So, I guess we'll start making cotton fabric so we can add it to the tailor shop so we can actually start producing something that is quite impressive. I haven't had to do a multi-stage uh, production process yet, so it seems pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna activate that, and hopefully by the end of today, we should have some cotton that we can transfer over to the needle and stitch over here. So today, what I hope to be focusing on is once again forestry. Don't get me wrong, I've already done one episode of that, but that was a multiplayer episode where we got almost nothing done. And we did the generic method of forestry, which is, you know, go into a, a forest, chop down this specific tree that you want, and pull it out of there. Don't get me wrong, that works just fine, but you can actually make a tree plantation as well. And I feel like if you do want to earn decent money as a forester, you want to do it that way. So I thought it'd be fun to try that out. We can also try stump removal with that. And yeah, I, I just want to see if forestry is viable. So first of all, I have to buy a field so we can plant these things. So let's try and figure out what's the best place to do this. I actually think we might just use my OG field. As you can see, I've been doing a great job growing weeds over here as it currently sits. And I honestly don't want a big field right now because I don't know if I'm going to continuously do this or not. So, yeah, honestly, this field should be perfect. It's where everything is anyways. Who the hell's on my property? Get the hell out of here. God damn it, Fred. I told you I don't want you around here with your stupid mutton chops. All right, and as per usual, I have no idea on how to do this, so we're just going to go into it and hope for the best. Uh, first thing we should probably do is clear this field. Oh, I just noticed my grapes are ready to harvest again. Now, the unfortunate part is when it comes to grapes, I don't think you can automate the process. <laughs> do I want to do another season of grapes? The great thing about this is once they're planted once, you're good. I didn't even fertilize them this year, but I may as well do it before it gets too cold and they freeze. If you did miss this episode, though, I highly re recommend you go check it out because orchard farming is so freaking cool. I just realized the only plow type unit I have right now has a cedar built in. So I need something that doesn't plant seed, obviously, because we're planting trees. So I'm going to try a subsoiler. There's a lot of options when it comes to this. I don't know if this is the best one, but it also has a fertilizer on it. So why not, right? It's also filled with fertilizer, so I need to buy some of that as well. Uh, I don't know if I really want to fertilize right now, though. It's not technically the start of uh, planting season, so I might just sleep until then because, yeah, we just got out of planting season. It's October right now. All right, so, yeah, I was trying to get this set up so I could start dealing with this field while I'm dealing with my orchard, but, yeah, it's just it's out of season right now, so let's just finish up the orchard, and then we're going to sleep until it's time to uh, plant. All right, and there we go, 1,800 liters of grapes. Not too bad, considering I did nothing to that field. No fertilization, no ground maintenance or anything. Uh, so yeah, I figured I may as well just do that real quick. We'll send that to the old raisin factory and, uh, well, make some free money, essentially. Four months later, and we are ready to rock and roll. It is planting season for trees. Oddly enough, there is a planting season for trees in this game. I figured you could just do it whenever, but hey, whatever. Also, this might be too big of a piece of machinery, but that's okay. That, that, that's what makes it fun. Unload it. No, not unload. Unfold. Do not unload. I just filled that thing. What is going on here? I, I don't even know if this... Wait. It just does it three times, or do these expand out? Is this a next level transformer? Nope, it looks like it just does it three times. Okay, so it's not as big as I thought. It's just very, very freaking long. All right, let's just try it out. We turned it on, and I think we're ready to go. So here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it looks like it's working. That's the important part. And at least it isn't a plow. There's so many different options you have for this. I am not driving in a straight line, but that's okay. All right, I had to get a better tractor, that uh, automated modded one. It just doesn't have the turning radius to do this with this beast, so we got the old John Deere out. I'm really glad I bought this thing. I think one other thing I, I want to try with this field, we don't necessarily need to do it, but there's also rock removers. As you can see, this field's filled with them, 
So I thought we would try that out as well, just because, well, I enjoy just playing with things in this game. I don't know if it's going to help with the trees, but it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, this is so much better. Whoa, what the freak, man? People are insane in this game. Anyways, I bought the uh, stone remover thing just to see more or less how it works. It looks pretty damn cool. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have cultivated the field first, but then again, I guess I wouldn't have seen the stone. So we might need to recultivate. I don't know. Let's just unfold this thing and uh, see how the technology works. It's, it doesn't look too big, obviously. I'm going to lower it, though. And I think we do wait to turn it on. Okay, it is automated. There we go. And it seems to just kind of have this... Oh, yeah, it just kind of puts them into the middle of this machine and it picks them up, I'm assuming. So that's pretty cool. Let's see once we go over somehow it kind of works. So they Okay, they, they just kind of vanish. That's unfortunate. This game could do with better animations, I will say that. But I think you get the idea. It gets rid of the stones, making planting a little bit easier. Oh, wow. It actually, I didn't even notice till now. It loads up the rocks. That was almost a full load of rocks. I don't know what I do with them. I guess I could just unload them wherever I want. Yeah, I, I don't know what we could possibly do with rocks. Let's just unload them here. There we go. Join. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have put them in some sort of storage unit and then dumped them somewhere that isn't in the middle of my farm. But that's okay. That was freaking cool. I don't care. Oh, new problem. It says my field needs lime. I don't know if I need lime for trees, but let's just do it anyways, just in case. Here you go, you stupid field. Are you happy now? Oh yeah, look at all that good white stuff. Okay, I love how I'm almost two hours into this. Haven't even planted a tree yet. Uh, that's, that's typical in farming simulator. <laughs> All right, let's finally, hopefully, plant some trees. Let me just make sure. Is it fertilized now? Indeed it is. It's looking fantastic. Okay, so one of these planters should do trees, I hope. All right, well, it's not those planters. Now I'm getting a little worried. There's got to be, it's probably in wood technology. I know there's a wood technology or tree technology tab somewhere. Forestry equipment. There we go. And that is it. Yes, we can plant trees. Looks like a platform with wheels. No idea how this one's going to work, but I'm intrigued as per usual. We'll buy that. Okay, so that is evergreen. I don't think I want it evergreen. I want it popular. Well, it's the only one I'm seeing, so I wonder if it's like seeds where you can choose what type of tree you want. I hope, because I know these trees take a lot longer to grow. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can choose spruce or pine or stone pine or birch. There's a lot more than I thought. Wait, why would you want all these? Why is there so many? You can only harvest two from what I know. Okay, looking more into this, pine trees can be planted almost anywhere and will take a while to grow, but the populars can be planted in a field and harvest them with a forage harvester. So I thought I would have to cut them down. I think we can just harvest them like a crop, which actually sounds way better. Maybe I should have did a bigger field then. Let's do populars then. Oh, there's the popular. So yeah, it's totally different from tree saplings. I'm assuming we still do it the same way, though. Hopefully. Well, I guess we'll find out when we try and load this thing. So it's probably good that I fertilized, because, yeah, this essentially just sounds like a crop that we grow. All right, there we go. So, yeah, we can refill here. We might want to finally get something that moves these crates. <gasps> Depending on how many I need for this field, it looks like I can only hold one crate. So, yeah, we might buy something later. Let's just get back with this and see how this works. All right, so I think I'm ready. We're just going to turn this bad boy on. I don't know what... Okay, there's the bottom thing that we're turning on. I don't know... Oh! Cool! Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna hire a worker to do this because I have no idea how far I should spread these things out. That is so freaking cool, though. I'm so glad I decided to do this. Uh, I have to move this out of the way because these guys aren't the smartest, so... Let's, uh... I don't... I, I have a tractor somewhere here. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for the tractor. The thing's so big, it hid the tractor behind it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not the brightest farmer in the field. All right, I want to see if he does it side by side. I'm curious. I mean, it looks like he's lining it up quite well. Looks like he is giving it a little bit of space. Can I just go for a ride? Unfortunately not. This is so cool, though. I wonder how long it's going to take for these things to grow. Seriously, I hire you to do it right and you screw up the line already. All right, so as he's planning them, let's prep harvest time. So I need a forage harvester. I know that. Um, You know what? We always go for John Deere. Let's go for New Holland. I have a lot of yellow equipment, so this, this thing can join. Uh, wait, does that turn it right into wood chips? Is that what we're doing? I have no idea, by the way, guys. Do these all do that? 
It must be. Okay, so we I don't think we have a choice. We're making wood chips. I think I might need a trailer for this as well. I'm not too sure, though. I know I'm going to need a front attachment, so let's get that. Interesting. Sunflowers have their own header, too. That may, might be fun to try one day. Uh, not really sure what I'm looking for right now. Ah, there we go. So that's what they look like. Okay, so these are bush ones. I'm assuming I need that one with the tree. All right, yeah, it looks like we have one option and one option only. So we're doing uh, the New Holland. Good thing I bought the New Holland Harvester. Everything's going to match. It's going to be all pretty. And uh, yeah, that's how we get the populars, I guess. All right, so here we are. More fancy machinery. How's it look inside this one? Why a blue seat for a yellow machine? You know what? It's farming equipment. I doubt it has to look pretty. Attach this bad boy and... Uh, I have no idea how long these things take to grow. Oh my god, this thing's hard to uh, steer. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to slowly sleep, wait for these things to grow, and I'm excited to understand how the hell this thing works. I, I, again, I think I'm gonna need some sort of storage trailer, but we'll worry about that later. What the hell are you doing here? I, I, I got rid of you guys. What's the point of doing the rock thing if they spawn right away? We also have a little bit of weeds. I think I'm just gonna let it go. I do have a de-weeder, but... I've already slept three months. As you can see, this might be a multi-year process. Trees don't generally grow too fast. All right, God damn it! I have to do it. It's bothering me too much. It's just getting more and more weeds. So we're gonna de-weed the field real quick. Thankfully, I got a pretty big de-weeder, as you can see. Uh, it's taking out some of the weeds, but some are staying. I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. You know what? Let's just let it happen. <gasps> Did I just de-weed? Wait, 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 wait. What did I just do? What's wrong with these? Wait, I didn't harvest it. Wait, is this... Is this not working right? How much did I screw up? Oh my... Okay, you know what? Wait, we are not de-weeding anymore. Some of them are still good. I guess you can't de-weed populars? This game explains nothing to me, you know? I, I just thought if I saw weeds, I have to de-weed it, but no. All right, well, that's fine. I mean... This is just a learning experience, as you can probably tell. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're not de-weeding. Well, we have our first major growth phase. Oh, good news! The ones that I accidentally, you know, killed almost? It looks like they, they just went back to their starting phase, so they still will grow up big and strong. Okay, and that gave me a slight horror. I thought they wilted. No, this is what they look like when they're ready to harvest. Now, I don't know how quickly they wilt. Some of these are not fully ready, as you can see. But just in case they wilt quickly, uh, I'm just going to do the harvest with just this. And I have to say, I'm super excited to see how this works. I don't think it's wood chips because it looks more like a bush than anything else. I still don't know what we're harvesting. Besides, I know we're harvesting popular trees, but what are we getting? I have no idea. All right, but let's get into it. My favorite part, we're going to lower the header. It looks like this front piece possibly just pushes down the popular so it can go into this little grindy chamber. And yeah, I'm assuming it's wood chips, but I could be wrong. Wait, do I have to pipe out at the same time? I might, hold on, I might actually need, you know what, just to be safe, I don't, I don't know if this, this does have storage, I think, right? Let's just try a little bit of this just to see. It's not going to come out the back, is it? Oh God, this is so cool. No, it is. Oh God, I'm such a freaking noob. Okay, well, <laughs> I should have bought that trailer after all. I guess we'll go pick up a trailer. Let's take one of the tractors over. Oh, it is side uh, unloading. Okay, so I thought we would try this as well. Obviously, I hired a worker here. And uh, I think you can still attach it to the back if you want. But I've always wanted to do this. And I don't have any friends that want to play with me. So why not hire a worker and try it? This is so cool. Now I could put on cruise control. Cruise control is too fast. Oh, we're shooting on the road. Okay, I might have bought too big of a wagon. But it's good to know it's actually working. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. No, 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 no. No, I understand it's, it's not growing. But seriously, dude. Okay, this is a total freaking mess, isn't it? Jesus, I am so sorry, everybody. Let's maybe try and attach the thing to this, because <laughs> when it's not fully grown, it confuses the hell out of the worker. Okay, but this should work just fine. I just wanted to try it the other way, and yes, indeed, this is the way to do it anyways. I wonder if I can do two rows at once. I honestly have no idea. I'm just going to go for this row, because it's what we can hit right now. And I'm going to try and do two. Two is definitely possible, 
I think it's more designed to do one, though. Oh, look at this, though. This is horrifying. I am living large. So I did actually look up a little bit about this crop. It regrows every year, which makes it extra cool. So very easy to get a crap load of wood chips. If you need wood chips for whatever reason, uh, this is probably what you want to do in this game to get it because getting rid of logs for wood chips doesn't really make sense. So this is essentially just a crop type to get wood chips. Didn't know that going into this, but that's what I love about this game so much. I just love learning as I go. And uh, I mean, we had a few small hiccups, but overall we, we got it done. And honestly, we already got 11% filled. This is for such a small... Okay, we brought too big of a trailer. I'm having a hard time steering, as you can see. But yeah, for such a small field, we already are at 12%. This is probably, I don't know, 40% yield. We'll see at the end here. Okay, and to my surprise, as you see at the bottom, even with this little field and my screw-ups, we actually got, what, 60% almost. We probably will get 60%. This is the last line, obviously, unless I let that stuff grow. I'm just going to let it wilt. Now, the great thing about this crop, as I said, every year it regrows. I do not need to replant, so all I need to do is refertilize. So, yeah, if you need wood chips, I honestly didn't expect to get this much out of this thing. I mean, I'm using one of the bigger trailers in here. And even with this little crop, yeah, we got a 60% yield. So that feels pretty good. I don't know how lucrative wood chips are. I guess we could find out real quick now. So unfortunately, the place buying it for the biggest price is only obtainable by train. And I haven't set that up yet. I don't even really know how it works. So maybe we should do that in the next few episodes. But uh, this place is buying for a comparable price. Um, Goldcrest, yeah, 302 compared to 276 here. So yeah, not getting the best price, but at least it should be easy to unload this. It's as simple as tipping it back, I think. And I, wait, I wonder if I'm not supposed to put it in the silo? I can't seem to get the thing to drop it off. Oh yeah, okay, so it goes on the ground? Okay, well, there we go. What did we start with? 438,000. So I just want to see 440. I mean, it's not making you a millionaire, that's for sure. But honestly, more than I expected, about five grand there. Uh, just in wood chips on a very small plot of farmland. So that feels pretty good, man. All right, guys. And this has been a pretty long episode for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed kind of a little bit of a weird one. Oh, God, there's humans. Watch out, humans. Jesus. But yeah, I'm truly enjoying the learning process of this game. I know some of you are probably frustrated with me learning, but I think it's fun to watch as well. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys want to see more of me learning as I go, or should I learn before I record? That way we don't have any of those little hiccups that I have as, for example, in this episode with the whole de-weeding process and whatnot. Regardless, I hope you guys are enjoying the Farming Simulator 22 gameplay. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, am I okay? There's a lot more to do in it, so if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below, and keep the suggestions coming. I am doing a lot of things that you guys are requesting, so if you guys have something that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.